tea and chat. Chat with tea. Tea chats. Tea chats. Welcome to Our Life in Books, where we talk about our lives, books, and everything in between. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Samantha. And we're cousins. Grab yourself some tea and get cozy because we are ready to chat. We're so ready to chat. We are so ready to chat. We've already been chatting. (laughs) Warming up. (laughs) Uh, But first, what tea are we drinking? So we decided to mix some teas today. um, Getting crazy. We really needed some black tea with, uh, you know, the caffeine. So we took the tea cellar black tea, just plain tea cellar black, and peaches and cream, which is a green tea. It's a pretty good mix. It's a really good mix, Mm -hmm. honestly. And we got those in our monthly box room tea cellar that we get, that we buy. So, yeah, it's really good. Um, I will link the peaches and cream in the show notes, but I could not find the tea cellar black. I don't know if maybe they're out of stock. That could be. They said it was popular. Yeah. Which is fair because those are always my favorite. It's just like the straight black tea, no flavor. Yeah. Like that's what I need right away in the morning. No (laughs) flavor. Oh, so should we start off with just talking about podcasts since, you know, that's our favorite topic (laughs) besides books? Yes. Um, I did want to update because last time we had our tea chats, you suggested uh, Unspeakable Crime, The Killing of Jessica Chambers. I listened to the entire thing. Yeah. It was so good. Right? It was so good. Yeah. And then um, I think you also suggested Man in the Window. Or yes. no. No, The I, Clearing. Sorry. The I clearing. suggested The Clearing. Yes. That's so, correct. I really like The Clearing. It's so good because it's, it's about the, so good. the woman who she finds out her father was a serial killer. Yes. Do you – his voice sounds like so- – the producer's voice sounds like oh. someone. So listen to it next time because it reminds me of some, like, actor. But – so, my only complaint with this podcast is uh, there's not enough. Like, since you talked about, what was that, two weeks ago, mm-hmm. um, I listened to, there was only like two or three episodes yeah. at that point. I listened to everything and then I was like checking every single day for one and finally one was just released. Yep. Oh. I know. It's so frustrating. <laughs> I don't like waiting, but it's such an interesting story. It Have is. you listened to the newest episode? Yes, of course. Because <laughs> um, they talk about... This guy that, like, became obsessed with her father, mm-hmm. and he's trying to pin literally every unsolved murder on oh, him. Oh, you didn't mention the best part. He's a cop. He's oh, a re- yeah. He's not retired. I mean, he no, just he, quit. He literally quit his job so that he could just look into this guy mm-hmm. forever. And I and he's I like he's, I didn't catch. I didn't quite understand, like, how is he making money? I honestly have no I think he goes and does talks. That's so crazy. But yeah, he's written a book about it. He's mm-hmm. been on TV shows. Yeah. And he's he like, had his own TV she's the show. Zodiac. Ki- he's the Zodiac killer. He kills JonBenet Ramsey. It's like, oh, he, he said that he chartered a private plane to go kill JonBenet. Yeah. It's like, at what point do you think it's a little outlandish? He doesn't, though. That's the thing. And that's so what that guy said. Insane. He was like, he thinks he's completely correct. Well, and I did, I did appreciate, though, that. Finally, you know, once he came face to face with um, this guy's daughter, April is her mm-hmm. name. Yeah, April. Once he came face to face with her, he was kind of finally ready to say, I could be wrong. Yeah. Which was nice to hear given how adamant he was. Exactly. And he's like, I might have said that, but like, I'm, I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy how he just gave them all of his research yeah. for them to just go, well, go with it. So is this happening in real time or is this? Like, is this something that they've already recorded? You I have I no know? idea, right? You know what I know? You know what I know? <laughs> you know what I, know. I mean? I knew what you meant. Um, <laughs> Both times. Is that why it's taking so long? Because I feel like it's two weeks between each episode. Right? I don't like, know. It's too long for me to wait. We should definitely look it's into it. Far too long for me to wait. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you think about the unspeakable crime? Um, Jessica Chambers? Yes, Jessica Chambers. It was really good. It's terrifying and like Mm -hmm. it's really sad too that you know something like this incited a race war in that town yeah you know Mm -hmm. but again that that's not actually solved is it because they didn't they convict um someone of it quentin her friend yeah that's right quentin because Mm -hmm. they always they kept saying that she said um eric or Derek, but yet they convicted Quentin. Mm-hmm. Of it. Yeah. 
some of the stuff was just enraging too. Like the one guy who found her keys in the ditch and gave them to his two year old to play with on the way home. Yeah. I was like, okay, number one, anytime my children, whatever age, like my oldest is nine now, he still picks up garbage all the time. And I'm always like, (laughs) put it down. Never would I let him play with it and like put it in his mouth and like, ugh. Keys you yeah. found in a ditch? Exactly. Are you serious? Yeah, there's some stuff that just enraged. Oh me. yeah, definitely. But it was good. I was I'm you know it's oh it's it's scary it's, story, it's but it's frustrating because yeah. mm-hmm. it's like it doesn't matter what you do, if you happen to be in the vicinity of someone the same day that they die, you could get convicted of their murder. Yeah. Especially if you're not white. Mm-hmm. It's insane. It's insane. They had no, yeah. There's ugh. nothing. No, there's nothing. And then the experts came on and talked about the um, cell phone towers and cell phone pings and stuff and how they're not as accurate as they were trying to claim that they mm-hmm. were. Yeah. But yet they were able to use that in the trial. Yeah. It's it's insane. Oh, it's just so frustrating. Oh, it's very frustrating. Um, and uh, Kurt and I are both listening to Man in the Window with each other. So I've only listened to season or episode two. Did you tell two. me about that one? I don't know if I talked about it last time. I don't think so. I think we because I found this one too. Oh, really? Yeah. So he he listened to the first episode, told me I'd really be into it, so we re- listened to it, and then we listened to the second one, and it's it's so because I don't know anything the, about the um, Golden Gate Killer, yeah, Golden State Killer, Golden State. What did I say? Golden Gate, Golden State Killer. I don't know anything about him. I have nothing. Really? I have no frame of reference. So this is just terrifying to yeah, me right now. It's so I listened to all of it. Of um, course you did. Darn it! <laughs> <laughs> I am on the very last episode, which. Like, at, throughout the whole thing, she talks about how there's only six episodes. Yeah. And there is. But there is a seventh episode, and she talks about the language of rape and how it's changed and, like, how we can talk to our mothers and even grandmothers about it because they went through an era where it was completely different. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's a big trigger warning for the Golden State – or the man in the window about the Golden State Killer He. He raped a lot of women. Yeah, and so and see, I didn't know that. Well, what I just I'm only on season two, but he like mutilated a dog, and I was like, oh no, 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 I don't know if I can listen to this. Yeah, but. it's kind of like he he started, you know, small. With, yeah, with animals, and then raping, and then eventually he started killing people. Really? Oh my gosh! Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Uh, it is a lot, but it's I did a lot. I didn't know that people couldn't. Yeah, and it seemed like it was like a big deal. Yeah, it was. No, well, it didn't seem like – back then how the woman talks about it, that it didn't seem that, like, rape was taken no, seriously. No, it wasn't Not at that – I mean, it's gotten better and it's still not, in my opinion, taken as seriously yeah. as it needs to be, but – Because they talk about that on um, – well, I know on episode seven, but I think throughout they kind of touch on it how it wasn't even a crime, really. It wasn't even a thing. And, like, yeah. I don't – I guess I don't know in the episode where you're at how they – I mean, there's I'm, a couple different victims that have talked about how – No. See, I we just got into that. Okay. We just got into that. It was mostly like the last thing before he – it was like his first one. But then before that was the girl he tried to kidnap and then she he shot her dad yeah. and he died. I was so upset when that uh-huh. happened because I was like – you always think that like he – you know, she said that like, like her dad saved – like gave his life for her. Mm-hmm. And that's just like – Yeah. It's it's insane, but um, no spoilers. But you know, there's no, a couple okay. different I'm gonna victims still to it. Yeah. that do talk about how. I mean, who cares what anybody else is listening? I'm just saying. <laughs> they talk about how they just they basically weren't taken seriously. Really, they, you know, they're taken to the hospital, and like either the hospital didn't have a rape kit, so what was the point? Or you know, there's no counseling for them, and they're just driven home by a male officer, and. Dropped off at home where there's no one else there, and they're just alone after this. That's awful. It, there's just there's there was nothing for them. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I am glad that things have changed, but obviously we're we're not where we need to be. But no, it's much better than it was. Oh, I agree. Like, what's his name? Um, uh, the one guy I always think like is just like Brock Turner. Like oh, that yeah. is the one that I'll always bring up because he like got like nothing. Yeah. Yep. Nothing. And everyone's like, oh, like, no, absolutely not. But the girl who, like, ate ice cream at Walmart and put it back is going to get 20 years. Are you joking me? Not that that's okay to do either. But no, I think it's, you know, a little bit of a comparison on a crime. Yeah. 
It's just insane. Ugh. So what's what's the newest episode that you've or newest podcast you've listened so to? So I also found this one. It's called Mile, Mile Marker 181. And oh, okay. I'm not very far into it, but it's about um I might say her name wrong. Jalea. Jalea Davis. Can I see how it's spelled? Yeah, I would say I like that. Jalea. Um, and they've said it a couple of times on the podcast, but I always feel like – I always thought they were saying Julia or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. So anyway, um, this is another case that kind of reminds, reminds me of Jessica Chambers because, she, you know, people had just been talking to her and then um, – someone comes across her body on the highway and her it it appears as though she was hit by her own car and she's naked and her clothes are completely separate from her body and all the, like it's just insane but it's a case i've never heard of jessica chambers i had heard of but yeah i've never heard of this girl i've never heard of this case yeah um but and I don't think anyone's been convicted. And, like, there's a lot of stuff going on because two of the people that were with her, one was, like, sheriff's daughter. And then one had an, another. She's the daughter of someone else that's high up in the area. Yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, is someone covering for these people? Yeah. Um. But, yeah, so that girl's mom is interviewed throughout. And mm-hmm. so, you know, this is done with her permission. And I, like I said, I'm only two episodes in, but it's so interesting. That it's is just, so interesting. It's, sad. it's just awful. But I'm going to have to listen to these, that. This happens to these young girls and it's not solved. I hate that. It's like, well, that's it. It's like, how is that a thing? Like, I yeah. think it's, I think I hate that we grew up watching those crime shows where it was a thing because it's not true Mm -hmm. it's like dna doesn't take like that you know what i mean and things go unsolved and oh just be careful who you're around and make sure you trust the people you're with apparently because well and remember every move you've ever made because um the jessica chambers yeah i believe like people were like what where are you this day i'm like good thing i have a planner because i wouldn't remember i don't yeah i mean that uh quentin Mm -hmm. they asked him over a year after it happened, what he was doing that day. And it's like, I don't remember what I did yesterday. No. Someone's like, what'd you do two weeks ago? I'm like, well, let me get out my planner and my phone to make sure I remember what, what was going on that day. Yeah. I mean, even then, I don't write enough stuff down to know who I saw and where no, I was. No, not at like, all. Phone calls I made. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I, my boss just asked me something about some stuff we did in January. And I just like... I have no idea. Like, I'm going to have to look at the time that I put in on my time clock thing because I don't know. I have no clue. No idea. I don't know how people are supposed to know that. That, I always thought that was weird, like, that cops ask that. How can you convict someone based on that? Yeah. (sighs) It's insane. It's terrifying. Um, So... I don't know if we've talked about this, but we are big well, – obviously, we've talked about Crime Junkies. We're yeah. big fans of them. Um, we joined their Patreon, and so I've been listening to a lot of their backlog of their Patreon episodes. Ooh. And they're really good. I would say they're less formal, which is kind of nice to hear them laugh or, like, kind of, yeah. like, joke around. So I would really suggest that everyone goes and joins their Patreon because they're amazing, and there's a bunch more episodes so, there. I haven't even ventured on there yet. Oh, I really you. need to. You do. But – um. So you get a link and then you can download No, it them. plays in the Patreon app. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just have the Patreon app and then you can download them Dang. and listen to them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cuz I've heard other people say that you get a link and you can listen to it on your regular podcast listener thing. And Possibly. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I've just been clicking in there and playing yeah, it in that there. Yeah, works too. Which is really nice cuz it just it downloads just like a regular um podcast and you just listen to them. That's what I, I really need to do that. Yeah. Because I love them. Yeah. And it's a lot less structured. Some of them are only 30 minutes, but if they're like shorter episodes that they want to like get out there. It's yeah. so good. Well, and then did you listen to the one that was dropped Yes. Yes, of course I did. So but that, that's <laughs> another one where I'm like, okay, every Monday I listen to it and then I'm like, I need more. Yeah. <laughs> like I need more. So that's why I went to Patreon and I was like, all right, let's go look through these. <laughs> yeah. I need to do that. You do. Um, so one other one that I just found today, actually, is called Science Versus. Yeah. And so I, again, I just started listening to it today, but they have, I believe they have like a team of scientists. Yeah. And, um, they just 
cover like different topics. And so the one that interested me and why I went over there, something I want to talk about later, um, they talk about ancestry type tests. Oh, yeah. And like how accurate they are. And then, um, yeah, it's called DNA kits. Can you trust them? And then the very next episode is race. Can we see it in our DNA? Oh. And so I thought they were really interesting to kind of listen to, especially because I just did yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Um, what they do is scientific. Like they're taking the DNA, they're splicing it, they're figuring out what yeah. everything is. But you have to look at the sample size of what they're comparing it to. Okay. And so, like, one of the things they mentioned is um, one of their staff members has a – her mother is Irish and her father's Indonesian. And she looks Irish. Like, she's got the red hair, like, super pale skin. Uh-huh. But she does not look Indonesian like her father at all. So she did the test, and she was expecting to have more Indonesian DNA given that her father is literally from there. Yeah. And – it said she had some small percentage, and I can't remember what it was, but it was a pretty small percentage. Uh-huh. And what they said was, so, like, 23andMe, Ancestry.com, all those different ones, they they get sample sizes from those areas. So they get, like, however many people, and they all have to have, like, similar DNA and then compare your DNA to theirs. Okay. And they only have, like, 120 people from Indonesia that they compare DNA to. So it's such a small sample size. If her DNA doesn't look like any of theirs, then it's only going to say she has a tiny percentage. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, yeah, it's accurate in that they're doing it scientifically, but their sample size isn't really big enough. Yeah. Will they, so this is my question is, will their sample size ever get bigger? And then therefore would your, Results change or yes. would you have to redo it? No. The, so um, that's one of the things. I don't know if you want to get into this. Yeah, now. I definitely want to get Let's get into it now. I'm very curious now. Um, so what it said in here was like there's a lot of mm, – let's see. Yeah, because so, you did the 23 and me. I did. And um, turns out I'm super white. You're super, basically. super white. <laughs> uh, gosh, I wish – here we go. So it'll show you like – these are the we can probably post some things on our patreon yeah and it shows like these are the different areas where it's highly likely your ancestors are from okay so but where then, are yours um here let me go back to the yeah overview. Tell, tell us your overview so she wouldn't tell me anything 96.5 percent european weird super white <laughs> um so of the european i've got british and irish french and german scandinavian and then it just says broadly northwestern european and then also southern Brit- european you're, like, you're british <laughs> you talk like you're from london <laughs> spanish and portuguese um and then it just says broadly european and then three percent sub-saharan african Which was interesting. Yeah. But that's another thing they said is like the sub-Saharan African, they likely only have a small sample. So, so anyway, it did say in the, um, somewhere in the directions, the results or whatever, that as they get more information, your results could change. So like, I only have this 0.7% broadly Southern European. That's likely going to change as they get more information. Yeah. Because they really can't like, what's 0.7% Yeah. So that'll change as things get more accurate. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, so I thought it was really interesting. And then um, there's also health stuff that they can yeah. check on. Okay. And so they they check. Uh, there's 44 different, like, carrier things that they check to see if you are a carrier of this disease or whatever. Um, what, are you, what are Health predispositions, traits, and then wellness. Okay, go through yours. I'm so interested. Or do you want to make this his own podcast? <laughs> no, this is fine. I'll I'll be quick. Um, no, I like this. Talk as long as you want. I want to hear all this stuff. So it says, I have a slightly increased risk for age-related macular degeneration. Okay, what's that? You're going to have to explain it for, uh, for all of us who did not excel in science. Blindness, basically, in old age. And uh, I think that'd be me. <laughs> and it says, um, the only reason I have a slightly increased risk is because I have two copies of the genetic variant. Oh. So... You know, it doesn't mean you're going to get it. It means you are more likely than another person to develop it. Okay. And it's age-related. So most people that develop it is, like, over the age of 65. Yeah. So, like, uh, not too worried. <laughs> um, and then the other one, 
It says, I have one variant for, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce this, but it has to do with a (laughs) genetic condition that um, can lead to lung and liver disease. But again, I only have one variant this time, so it's even lower. Yeah. But it's just a little bit higher chance because I have the one. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. So then this is the one that I thought was like super, super interesting because okay. they talk about traits. Yeah. That's traits a, yeah. that you're likely to have. Uh-huh. Um, Did you find this very accurate, the entire thing? Some of it. Okay. Some of it. Well, because so, you didn't say in the ancestry thing, but you have Native American. Or- yeah. Oh, yeah. So I did talk about that on the last episode and how my my dad has always said mm-hmm. his grandmother was Native American. And we always saw that like, our mom's side also had Native so, American as well. So, according to my results, I have 0.2%. <laughs> so, definitely not oh, no, your grandmother. I'm sorry, 0.3. Either way, I was like, okay, is this another one of those things where they don't have enough? Oh. Or was he lying? <laughs> yeah, or maybe she was only like, maybe her ancestors. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought that was funny. Yeah. Okay. Go back to traits. Sorry. Um, traits, traits. So I, I just think this one is fun. Um, so, okay. Cilantro taste aversion. Yeah. Just for this. Slightly higher odds of disliking cilantro. Do I you, love cilantro. I was going to say, that's, that's off. Yeah. Um, My mom thinks it tastes like soap. <laughs> cheek dimples, likely no dimples. Yep. That's true. Yeah. Cleft chin, likely no cleft chin. True. Um... What are some of the ones I just thought was so interesting? Eye color, likely brown or hazel. True, they're yeah. brown. Uh, fear of public speaking. Oh, my more, God. <laughs> more likely to have a fear of public speaking. True. <laughs> uh, flat feet, more likely than average to have flat feet. I do. It's a problem. Oh, my God. Like, it's a real feet problem. Too. Do you feel like you walk heavy with so. your flat feet? Oh, I do. I don't think I, don't think I do, but I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I do. Yeah, you feel like you Yeah, do. I feel like I do. Uh, freckles, likely a lot of freckles. Where? Nope. Where are those freckles? Right? <laughs> um, ice cream flavor preference? What? More likely to prefer chocolate over vanilla, which is not true. That's not true at all. No. Uh, misophonia. What's that again? Do you again? remember they always talk about it on Dax they Shepard's do. podcast? What is that? Um, um, mouth sounds. So it says more likely to hate chewing sounds. Also true. Yeah, I hate when people chew with their mouth open. It makes me crazy. Uh, likely bitten more often than others by mosquitoes. <gasps> That's so interesting. Right? Because I'm never bitten. Motion sickness. More likely to experience motion sickness. A little bit. Yep. Traveling you with the, is right. <laughs> I fun. literally can't do anything in the car except <laughs> drive or look out the window. Yep. <laughs> uh, newborn hair. Likely little baby hair. True. I was bald till I was four. Yeah. So. That's very true. <laughs> How crazy that is, is that? That is crazy. Um... Stretch marks, more likely to have stretch marks. Yeah. Yep. Sweet versus salty, likely prefer salty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought this was funny too. Unibrow, likely at least a little unibrow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do pluck You're it. You're like, I so, pluck it. Stop, don't call me out. Yeah. So they, it goes through a lot of different things there. And then what was that other one that I just thought was so funny? What were the um, other categories besides traits? Again, sorry. So there is carrier status, health predisposition, traits, and wellness. Wellness. So the wellness one, they do your muscle composition. Okay. Hold on. It's got to connect. Uh, your genetic muscle composition is common in elite power athletes. And I was like, oh, I've been wasting my life, obviously. <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to be a power athlete. <laughs> What am I doing with my life? <laughs> I'm clearly wasting this muscle mu- muscle yeah. composition. Uh, yeah, but I just thought it was so funny. That is funny. I, there's just so, such interesting things that they can get from you spitting into a tube. Yeah. And like I said, some of them are not accurate, but I mean, that's that's to be expected. Right? I still think that's really cool. Yeah. It was just so fun because I – so I got the results last Friday and I get off work at noon. Yeah. So um, I had literally just made my lunch. I was planning on sitting down and reading my book and then I got this and I was like, well, I guess this is what I'm doing for the yep. rest of the afternoon. <laughs> like just scouring through the information because – oh, so this is the other really awesome thing. So you can go to – where does it say that? Meet your DNA relatives. Yeah. And you can – connect to a thing kind of like ancestry.com has 
So cool. Like if you decide to share your information, which you don't have to, then you can see people who might be related to you. And it shows you what percentage of your DNA is shared. Did you share your stuff? So yeah. Okay. So I get on there and I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. That's my cousin and that's our uncle. And they've already oh done my it. Gosh. And it, t- it tells me how much of our DNA is that your is cousin similar. on your dad's side? Yeah. The top two are. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Right? Yeah. So obviously it's got some accuracy because it pulled up our uncle. But it calls him our first cousin. Yeah, because if you look, it, it tells you why it thinks that, because it says we have a grandparent in common. But he's our he's our mom's half brother. So it would make sense. Why they think it's a cousin. Yeah. Got it. That makes sense. Yeah. But then, so there's all these other people that I have no idea who they are. And we have like. That's crazy. One Did you scroll 2%. through and like look through the names and see if you knew anybody? Yeah. I don't know anybody. Literally nobody. <laughs> and there, um, and then you can look at a map too and see where the people <gasps> are. That's so cool. There's a, mm, 11 people in Iowa that are potentially related. How crazy is that? That's so crazy. Okay, I want to do this now. Yeah, it's so fun. And then also, like, I really want my brother to do it. Yeah. Because, um, so you can see your Neanderthal ancestry and see how many traits you got from Neanderthals, which is crazy. And then you can see your maternal haplo group. And you, I can't see my paternal because I don't have any Y chromosomes. So if my brother did it, oh. then I could see my maternal or my paternal yeah. ha- haplo group, which would be really cool. You really need to make him do it. Right? Tell his wife to make him do it. I feel like I got to get him that for Christmas or something. You should. Well, well, I'm thinking Black Friday they might do the deal again yeah. and then I'm going to get one for Because you can see where your maternal ancestors came from and like they all – started so what would in I Africa. Do? Because I don't have a brother. Your dad. So I'd have to, to so I'm gonna have to buy it for my dad for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's yeah, so, so interesting. So oh, fun. they're just, so cool. Yeah. Well now the FBI here's a conspiracy theory theorist in me. <laughs> the FBI now has your DNA. Which good luck. <laughs> again, they talked about that on I'm that kidding. Science versus yeah. podcast. And the whole time all I could think is, okay, if I drink out of a cup and then throw it in the garbage if someone was following me and wanted my dna they could get it easily yeah. just following me and picking up my garbage yeah so i'm really not like it well, also they already have our fingerprints me. our facial recognition they're the guy everything else screw it yeah like <laughs> uh, it's whatever yeah i'm not too worried about it um that's really cool i have nothing to follow up on i'm a boring loser no. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. I'm just making me jealous. You should, Oh, my God. If you guys have done it, you should let us know. Like, you yeah. should post pictures in Patreon of, like, your, like, because you should post some of your spring grabs of, like, yeah. all that stuff. So this is, this is the, like, the child of me over the weekend, though. I kept, like talking in a British accent. And I, I was going to say, Alex, that's so I was crazy. Like, it's okay. I can do this because I'm 49% British. Maybe, so. like, I want to do it now because maybe that's why we're so obsessed with British people. Well, that's what I said, too. I said, I've, we've been I've obsessed always been for an Anglophile. And this is why, like, I drank tea and, like. Yeah. Well, like, even when we were younger, like, the best Mary Kane Ashley movie was going to Paris, Passport London. to Paris or winning London. Those were our favorites <laughs> because we want to live in London. Yeah. Or just over in Europe. So I kept hey, using bye. different stuff from that. Like, oh my God, obviously, this is why I'm doing this because <laughs> 23 <laughs> me said. Like, I wish I would have done this so I could also <laughs> roll in his eyes. He actually, honestly, he has no interest in it. <gasps> why? Because he's weird. I, he doesn't like things that normal people like. I don't know. But I told, I want him to do it because now just, I'm curious about. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to. Do it without him knowing. <laughs> I don't know how. I was trying to think of like a way we. It's get... a lot of spit. Oh, I wish you were taking a picture of it. I'm curious. Way more spit than you expect it to be. How do you way do that? More. They give you this like. Uh, did you do it tube. all at once, or did you do it over time? Yeah, you have to like gather it up because so they give you this tube and it shows you the line that you have to fill your spit to. Yeah, and it tells you in the directions like make sure. That that line is of your liquid spit, not the bubbles. Because when you spit, there's a whole lot of bubbles. Ah. Yeah, it's disgusting. I'm not a good spitter anyway, so great. You just have like a lot. And I just like, Ugh. Ugh. yeah. <laughs> it, seriously, it took me like 10 minutes of sitting there like gathering it all up. Like this. <laughs> so gross. Don't look at me. <laughs> um, all right. Well, back to podcasts and <laughs> what I do with my life, which is podcasts. Um, I mean, same, really. <laughs> 
Uh, I listened to, I'm halfway through the Life is Short with Justin Long episode with Jesse Eisenberg. Oh. And, okay, so I know I talk fast. I have to tell people in my life that if I'm talking too fast, to let me know. Kurt, yeah. Kurt had to do that the other day. He goes, <laughs> I didn't understand a word you said. And I was like, you have to tell me to slow down. I don't hear it. Oh, I think I think that Jesse Eisenberg and I are, like, related because I thought I had – the fast forward on on oh, the pa- no, on the episode. Really? That's how fast he talks. And I was sitting there listening, and I was like, and I understood all of it. But then yeah. I was like, oh my god, is this how I talk? So I want you to listen to the episode. Oh my goodness! And you guys should all listen to the episode and see if that's how I sound. Because I I feel like I do that too, though. I talk fast. I talk super fast, and he talks super fast. And I was like, I probably sound like an insane person if that's what I sound like. It's, <laughs> he doesn't sound insane. He just. Does Justin Long ever have to tell him to like slow No, down? Justin Long talk he said he felt like he had, he talks fast too. Oh no. They're like very quick the entire time because I feel like I'm consciously trying not to talk too fast on the podcast. On the podcast I am in real life filters off. Yeah. I yeah, just yeah. speed. And then we both do it to each other. <laughs> I go back and forth. We both go back and forth between like subjects. Yeah. So yeah. I think we're both pretty bad. But, yeah, I think you should listen to it because, one, I just – I adore Jesse Eisenberg. He's – he mm-hmm. has – he deals with anxiety. He has social awkwardness. He's I think adorable. He's adorable. He – his son is in the beginning of the interview, and it's so – He's a kid? Yeah, he's a kid. How old? Two, I think. Oh, I didn't know he and apparently kid. he looks like a mini Jesse Eisenberg. Oh, my God. Yeah, and so it's really cute. You should listen to it. The end. Okay. <laughs> but I was like, do I talk that fast? Do I sound that? Do I sound nuts? I need to, I need to know. And then I saw we have a couple live shows to talk about. Yeah. Well, you're, you're not going to the live show, are you? Yeah. This is the live show you're going to. Okay. Well, then I'm going to talk first. There <laughs> is the last podcast on the left live in Iowa this Friday, um, August 9th. I had a ticket to go, but it's Kurt's birthday, and so he better know that I like him a lot because I'm going to miss it. Oh, my God. Where in Iowa? In Des Moines oh at gosh. the Hoyt Center. Yeah, and there's tickets still available, so this podcast goes up that day. So if you're bored in Des Moines, and they're oh, not shoot. they're not expensive. They're like $28. Yeah. Like, go. That's crazy. And then rub it in my face because I <gasps> sold my ticket. So do they do a normal episode, so, or do they just do, like, Q&A? So they do, like, a... They do, like, storytelling. They also do a live show. They're just best friends, so they just feed off each other. Like, during their live shows, they just, like, make fun of each other, so it's kind of just how it is. During their, um, they do live shows, um, like, um, live video chat shows Mm -hmm. on Adult Swim, and the other day, two of them wanted to joke around on the other guy, so they were like, we're going to do an eating contest, and then they all just sat there and, like, casually ate while the guy, like, ate really fast. Oh, my God. (laughs) And they're like, we just wanted to see how much you could eat. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> kind of like what we used to do, Alex. Aww, <laughs> so I don't know. I think it looks really fun. My friends from work are going, and I'm, I'm sad I'm not going, but it's also not going to like, yeah, ruin my life because I watch every live show. I know they'll be back, and I'll go. I'll go again. So do they publish their live shows anywhere? No. Oh. So wow. it's yeah. So I'm gonna have to hear it secondhand yeah. and be jealous, but it's all right. Are they allowed to take pictures? No, I don't think so. <sighs> I know. Are they, like, do they do a meet and greet after? Or they do, but they they didn't get the tickets for that. Oh, so there's tickets for that separate. There oh, is, like and those are still available too. So if you guys, That's I mean, crazy. I'm saying, like, it's, I'm 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 pretty sad I'm not going, but it's all right. Yeah. So tell me about your live show. Yeah. So it's actually next Thursday. I can't believe it's already I here. Know, like, I know. I know. I bought these tickets forever. It ago. feels like forever ago. So it's for a small town murder. Um, Where's it at again? This one is in Omaha, which the tickets sold out like. Real quick. Really? Yeah. Um, They were supposed to come to Des Moines, but I guess there was some scheduling conflict and they couldn't make it to Des Moines, so they went Omaha instead. Yeah. Which is fine. And we were going to go, because we last time um, my friend Nicole and I went, we went to Minneapolis Mm -hmm. and they're having a show in Minneapolis the following night, but she's got a wedding this weekend, so she couldn't make it to that one. Yeah. So we, yeah, we're going to um, Omaha. Wait, it's next Thursday, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm so excited. Like, we had so so much fun the last time. And it looks like uh, James' (gasps) wife and then Jimmy's girlfriend have been going to a lot of the shows. And so I'm like, hoping they're going to be there. Because I really want to see Sarah. Did you guys do the meet and greet? Yeah, I love Sarah. Yeah, so they don't do specific meet and greet. with. So um, you can get VIP tickets, which of course we did. Yeah. And VIT, VIT, VIP tickets just get you the front of the line because they do meet and greet at the end of every show and they stay until the last person. That's so yeah. cool. Because the last venue we went to, they tried to, like the 
venue people try to convince us that we couldn't get in the meet and greet line because we didn't have tickets. And the last one we went to, there was literally no tickets for that. Yeah. That wasn't a thing that you could do because I bought the tickets and I, you know. Yeah. So anyway, it was just a very like frustrating situation because they've always said they'll stay and meet anyone who wants to meet them. Yeah. And then we were trying to, they were trying to kick us out of line and I was like, I'm not moving. No. So anyway, so this time we have VIP tickets. So I guess it gives us um like better seating and then front row for, or front of the line. Yeah. So, yeah. That'll exciting. be really fun. That I'm, reminds me of, um, what were you, sorry, what were we going to say? I'm just excited to meet Sarah. Like, yeah. I really hope she's You need there. to get a picture with her and tell her that we're big fans and she's hilarious mm-hmm. and I love her Twitter. Especially because I think I told her this too. I was like, I'm so sorry, but when I met James, the first thing I said to him is, is Sarah here? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm so sorry, but I just want to meet her. <laughs> she's so cool. Um, and that kind of reminds me of <laughs> when we went to Counterfeit for the first time, like Hannah and I are going again this year. We were in line and we were very confused because we are, I mean, I was 29 at the time Mm -hmm. and I was like, we were standing outside of a bar, like with a bunch of like girls our age and we're all like, what's happening? And they wouldn't let us in the bar. And I was like, but it's a bar and I have a ticket. Why can't I sit in the bar until the show starts? And it's because they all thought we were underage. Oh. Oh so finally, gosh. the girl who was standing next to us went up and asked, and he's like, oh, you guys are all, like, over 21? Yeah, over 21 come in. And I was like, we've been standing out here for 45 minutes. Uh, are you kidding me? Yeah. So it, it kind of stinks when, like, the venue doesn't really understand what's going on. That's mm-hmm. kind of frustrating. Yeah, so it's, very it's the same venue, so I know the rules now. So I'll be like, listen, I'm going in there. <laughs> or I'm just going to lie and say I'm not here for the event yet and just yeah, go no sit kidding. and have a beer. Yeah. Yeah, this one, uh, we'll see how the venue works out because – I know they had a lot of issues. They they said, like, on the day that tickets were released, they were all going to be released the same day. And I know this venue did not release them until, like, it was either later that day or in the afternoon. But it was all they were all supposed to drop on the same yeah. day, same time. Yeah. They did not. Really? So, yeah. So I'm kind of oh, curious. Oh, do you want to hear my though. trick? So um, I don't know if I talked about this already. I feel like I just tell you stuff and I don't know if I talk about it <laughs> on the podcast. Um, the counterfeit tickets. So I was in charge this year. Never a good idea. Um, and we get VIP and I forgot. And then she had texted me and she was like, oh, hey, just let me know how much I owe you. And I was like, oh, crap. crap. <laughs> so I think I have already said this before. Sorry, guys. You're going to hear it again. Um, and so I went to go buy them on the band website and they were all sold out. Oh, no. So no, I, I think was, you only told me. Okay, good. Okay. So I was like panicking and I was like. I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell her I messed up and then we're not going to be able to meet them and like kind of what's the point, you know, because I mean, yeah, we drive all the way there. We want to meet them, you know, right. and I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? So I texted her. I was like, I'm so sorry and like all this stuff and I was like, I think they're all sold out, whatever, whatever. So I'm like sitting there beating myself up, up about it and I'm like, wait a second. I know I've heard that if you go to the venue, they sometimes have extra tickets. Yeah. So I went to the venue and they had extra tickets. Oh, my and I, God. And I bought them. I was like, buy, buy them right now. Because I was like thinking like, can I win some? Is there like some like, is someone buy them and then reselling them? You know what yeah. I mean? No. The venue still had some. Holy crap. I got so lucky. I was <laughs> no like, oh, kidding. my God. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> so crazy. there's a there's a note for you. Like I always check like – um the reseller companies um, yeah. or honestly check the venue because sometimes the venue also has tickets. Mm-hmm. So yeah. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? So, so speaking so, of music. Yeah. And also, I yeah, I'm very confused. What is this? <laughs> um, so yeah, this weekend uh, I went out with my friend. It was her six month anniversary of being alive. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, we we're standing at the jukebox trying to find music and one of the bars have like – it's just crappy music on the jukebox. I mean, yeah. it's mostly country. I'm sorry if you like country, but they just we did don't. not have a big <laughs> selection of anything. Yeah. And anyway, one of the girls suggested Brockhampton, and I was like, what is that? So I started listening to them this week, and I'm in love. Really? It's a, they call themselves a boy band, but they're not they're not your typical boy band. Uh-huh. They, um, it's like a group that collaborated and they've got rappers, singers, producers, oh, cool. um, artists, like their first albums, they like DIY'd it. Like they did everything themselves. Yeah. They produced it. They did all the um, album cover artwork and mm-hmm. all this, like they did everything themselves and their music is really good. Like it's, really? it's very like hip hop, but that's super what I'm into right now. Yeah. It's hip hop and rap and I love it so much. So anyways, 
new music suggestion. That's Brock awesome. Hampton. Okay, I'm going to have to look that up. And it's all caps, and then all their songs are all caps. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I am just still obsessed with Lizzo. Yeah. Yep. Um, my things is one. Um, no, just one thing. The bo- Her Boys song. Yeah. That's on the trailer for Booksmart. That we were supposed to go look at. That's what? their like. That's in the movie. Oh my god! And I had no idea it was her. And I was like, yeah. Oh my god! I've been looking because I've been looking for that song. I didn't know what it was, but I was yeah. like, I really like that song they play in the trailer. It's Lizzo. Oh my she's god! She's freaking everywhere. She's awesome. I, feel, I honestly feel like every time I'm watching like Love Island or something, it's they always have a Lizzo song on there. Right? And it's always one that I'm like, Wait, what's this one? Um, I don't know this. <laughs> right? Uh, they didn't. She did an NPR. There's something called like the Small Table or something where they like kind of seen like. They sing with only a couple inter- instruments. It's like mm-hmm. acapella. She killed it. She was so good. She's so amazing. I'm just like so happy for her. And like people were like, she like, it's just doing so well. And I just, yeah. I, I love her. Um, Have you probably, mm, I know I've sent you her stuff before. So there's a crochet artist called Crafty is Cool. And she makes uh, like little dolls of people. Oh, yeah. And she made the Post Malone one. She's yeah, I remember the Post Lizzo. Malone one. She's making a Lizzo one right now. Yes. She's posting like the updates of it on her Facebook. And I just saw she made the flute. Oh, today. my God. Yes. Because Lizzo is a trained flautist. Yeah. Which is insane. Yeah. I love that she whips out her flute and just plays. I'm like, you, you're cool. I love this. Right? So, yeah, she's working on a Lizzo doll right now. Oh, my God. That's awesome. So, which means she's probably going to get to meet her and give it to her. Yeah. We need to start making stuff. I'm not good at that. (laughs) What can we make? (laughs) Uh, Podcasts. All right, guys. This podcast is going to help us meet Lizzo. (laughs) Oh, God, I wish. Oh, same. Um, So we kind of like stumbled slash rage bot (laughs) some bookish things. Yeah. And we thought we'd tell you guys in case you want to go get them too. Yes. So I came across – so Riddle's Tea Shop – they always do random boxes, like they did quarterly because boxes she's cool, for a while. Right? She's just right. cooler than us. <laughs> and then she does um, um, or tea society. Yeah, you said it right. <laughs> Arr. <laughs> and what's the other one? Death Eaters. Death tea Eaters. Club. Yep. Um, so she does boxes for those, and then now she's doing a. It's just Riddle's Tea Shop, and I think it's a fall witchy yes. box. Uh, literally I'm me so in a box. Excited, Hi. Right? <laughs> yeah. So as soon as I saw it said something about witchy, I was like, Santa, Santa. Hey, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. I just, I was like, did you buy it? She, you're like, yeah, did you? I'm like, yeah. Um, my new thing is to see, I I went into um, Joanne's Fabric today, and they had a Halloween area, and of course I have to stop, and I go, start going, this is Halloween. <sighs> this is Halloween. I love Halloween decorations. I, same. We need to go, but I'm scared. If we go shopping, tomorrow i want to look at all the halloween stuff and buy all the halloween stuff and oh, then i'm just gonna live 20 we need to have a shopping weekend we do i want to go to um, let's have a girls day uh home goods and look at their halloween stuff yes if i get a new mug i'm gonna have to get rid of one of my old mugs <laughs> <laughs> one in one out i'm just gonna start decorating everything at halloween i am now a witch hello what's up do it okay Deal. But we should get we should get together and do a girls' day. I love it. We're like, let's plan it right now. <laughs> <laughs> right this second. Um, the other one is Dust and Pages. Yeah. They're doing a daughter smoke and bone pin drop. Yeah, it's a pre-order uh, it's right pre-order. now. Pre-order. I don't know if anyone can do it because we got the if you're a part of the newsletter, you mm-hmm. get the secret. So maybe. Um I feel like she's gonna open it. She I is think she said after like three days or yeah, something so like it'll that. probably be open by the time this podcast goes up. But it's Two pins in one, which yes. is really cool. They have gold lining, mm-hmm. and they're sick, and I'm so excited yeah, for them. Because so I, I don't like, have a lot of Daughter and Smoke and Bone like no, memorabilia. There's just not a lot of which is stuff a shame. For it. Best series ever. Yeah, it's amazing. I um, want to reread it. I've been thinking I'm kind of oh, getting the itch to reread it. I don't know seriously, why. That was one of my first series that I got into after like joining Bookstagram. Yeah, and, like, seeing all these YA books that I mm-hmm. was in love with. That was one of the first ones I picked up. Yeah. It was right before our first book con. I know. Because I was like, I have to read at least a couple of the authors so that when I meet them, I'm not like, hey, and I, went I up, loved your book. I uh, went up and I met her and I didn't know who she was. And then later I was like, I met her. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's going to be really cool. Yeah. So Dustin Pages, they do these pre-orders um, every once in a while. So I, the last one I got from them was for the Air Awakens series. I think I talked yeah. about it on here. Those but, are cool. So definitely subscribe to their newsletter so that yes. you can hear about the pre-orders ahead of time. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm so excited that and I it did. sounds like from that email we got, um, she did a 
poll on Instagram to see. Yeah, so follow her on Instagram. I missed that one because I actually yeah. do follow her on Instagram. I know. I missed that too. That's fine. We suck. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I want to talk about uh, Kara Kozik, the Owl Crate. They did a limited release of all of the mugs that she yeah. they have. Went. They said it went so quickly that hardly anyone got them. So now they're doing a pre-order of oh any gosh. mug that you want, that, of the three mugs that they've let yeah. sent out. And then also on her Etsy, she has two mugs on there. Dang. So you can get the whole collection if you really want to, which is really cool that I think that – because they're such in high demand. I went and got the one on Etsy because it's the one I don't have. I found a picture because it's still packed. But I found a picture of all the mugs. I was like, I don't have that one. <laughs> it's the Harry. It's like them sitting. It's like the close-up of the characters. You have it. Oh, I do. Yeah, because it's one of the first ones huh. she did. And I didn't have it. I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Let us know if there's any other things we're missing. Um, I We love nail pins. Anything, all the book things. All the book things. All the tea things. I love everything. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> oh, the Riddles Tea Shop box. That's going to have pins. I'm pretty sure it yes, says it's going to have pins and a candle this time, too. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> and then uh, some shows we've been watching. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even know where to start because we both don't. I don't know where you're at in either of these. So, we're talking about Love Island. Come on. This is a segment where we talk about Love Island. So, I'm caught up on both. <laughs> you need, if you, ha- if, listeners, if you haven't li- watched it, Go watch it. It's so addicting. I've heard guys and girls. Can, mm-hmm. I mean, we've seen yeah. guys and girls yeah. cannot stop watching it it's, once they start. It is so addicting. It is. Um, so first, I want to hear your opinion. UK versus US. I was scared. Yeah. But I'm I'm thinking of them as two separate things. And I also think the same company owns them. So I'm okay with yeah. that. Yeah. Well, I feel better about the US one now that I've seen it because – at first, we're like, that's going to be trash. <laughs> yeah. They don't fight nearly as much as no. I thought they would. They don't get, like, fall down crazy drunk like I thought they would. Mm-hmm. Um, I do, <laughs> Look at us just trashing our own, right? our own I, I do kind of think, like, I, I don't know. I like to live in that blissful, ignorant bubble of, like, I'm watching reality TV and it's all reality and this stuff is really happening, Mom. So after watching after seeing that so many episodes of the UK one and then watching the US I have to think that the producers urge them to talk to each other when there's an issue you think they have to yeah cuz i'm sorry but like if you would have taken people that age like when we were in college and thrown them in a house together and told them to date each other and like someone took someone's man, they wouldn't walk up to him and be like, hey, let's have a chat and have a civil chat with them. Yeah. I feel like the producers have to push them into that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Stop ruining it for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's, that's, what I, that's all I could think when I watched the U.S. one because I was like, no way. No way. Like, yeah, how are they we just think British so people are nicer civil. than us. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe. I think some things are real, but some things aren't. Yeah, I think you're right that they push them to go talk to stuff. But mm-hmm. I think some, like the blow-ups, and I think the emotions are real yeah, because they yeah, do yeah. really like. But just like with, um, well, some of those shows might, might have been scripted. But, you know, shows like probably uh, The Hills and stuff, I remember Lauren Conrad um, Those out. were scripted. Right. But I remember her coming out and saying, like, there were times when we wanted to go to this place and the producers were like, hey, maybe instead you should go here. And it was because yeah. someone was going to be there. I'm hearing static from your mic. Okay. Um, the, um, that was a, That's the same with... Um, um, Oh my gosh, it's on Bravo. It's my favorite show. Why can't I think of it? Vanderpump Rules. Like, they just say, like, okay, you're all going to go out to this place. Like, mm-hmm. they just set the scene and they don't actually, I don't think they tell them what to say, but they all have to go hang out at a certain place, like yeah. at a certain time. Like, hey, you guys all have to go drink at this place at a certain time. Or, oh, you're going to, ha- you're going to go all, all go on vacation. And yeah. so it's like that kind of stuff. But she said that they don't, they don't tell them what to say Mm -hmm. they try to but she doesn't do it but she's like i have no problem just saying what i feel i'm glad they give me an opportunity oh it's funny (laughs) but back to i don't know so uk i'm not caught up don't (gasps) spoil anything for me what i know so i'm very frustrated because the uk one is done but hulu only drops five episodes every saturday yeah and it's like two or three weeks behind yep it's frustrating so like i follow the subreddit for it you need to stop and <laughs> i yeah i've seen spoilers i'm like god but i want to be in the conversation <laughs> i know i want to feel a part of this okay but then the u.s i'm i think i'm i think there's one episode i need to catch up with. yeah i don't know where i'm at um actually i do the blonde 
I, I can't think of names, and, I'm, and then I won't spoil it. The two serious couple, just they're now boyfriend and girlfriend. That's where I'm at. Oh, okay. Oh. I know. I'm, I'm kind of, I, I kind of yeah. dropped off for a little bit. Do you have favorites on the US Those two one? are my favorite. Yeah? Yeah. So I really like. Because you know me. I'm a hopeless romantic. I'm going to like the ones that are. I loved Caro from the beginning. Mm-hmm. I love Caro so much. Yep. She's so fun. And then I love Kira, too, because she's just like no nonsense. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, yeah, I love them. Yeah. Those are my two favorite girls. Yeah. <laughs> I just like, I liked that couple, and I think they're cute. Uh, Elizabeth and Zach. Yep. I like those two. Yeah, those are cute. I can help them. I was romantic. Get away from me. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, how about, we'll talk about more next, because I will be caught up. We'll both be caught up. and we'll you better just, be. Okay, fine. I'm so sorry. I am caught up. I'm not caught up on Stranger Things. Where are you at? I've only watched. We finished it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yes or no. Just say yes or no. Does someone die? Yes. Oh, my God. Okay. So, Kurt wasn't excited. He didn't want to watch season three. And I was like, listen, I just watched season one and two over again. We are going to watch season three. So, I played him the trailer. Uh And he was like, okay, let's watch it. Because, like, the trailer really gets you into it. And I love, like, the nostalgia of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. They're so good at, like, getting all of the things. Yes. We watched episode one and the girl, the girl at the ice cream shop, I can't remember her name. Um, Robin. Robin's like, how many kids do you hang out with? Right. <laughs> I love that. I don't remember. Did I talk about this on the last episode? How we were watching it. Oh, yeah. And like, kept you did. thinking that she looked But I familiar. couldn't remember. Who is it again? It's Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman. And yeah. And Ethan Hawke. Yep. There we go. I couldn't but think of But she looks exactly like her mom. I found a, I'll have to show it to you later, but I found a picture on Reddit. We should post it on Patreon. Yeah. Okay. So I found a picture on Reddit of, um, her name in real life is Maya. Of um, Maya, like in Stranger Things, and then Uma Thurman in Kill Bill, and they're like sit, like they're doing the same thing, like leaning over a counter, yeah. and they're identical. Like really it's crazy. Because oh. once he told me that it was Uma Thurman's daughter, I was like, now I can't unsee it. Like, yeah, all I can see is Uma Thurman. <laughs> see, when you said that, I watched it, but I didn't. I haven't seen what Uma Thurman looks like in a while, and now I kind of don't want to, so I can't yeah. not see it. It's, oh, it's uh, so good. So though. we're gonna watch episode two tonight. I'm so excited. I've been I've shown very good restraint not watching it without him. I think. Because did so. I tell you about our um, our date night? What we did? We watched. We finished Stranger Things, mm-hmm. and then we watched three the first three episodes of Black Mirror. Yeah. Have you seen that? Black Mirror. Like at all? Yeah. I You've thought you'd seen already some seen... episodes, haven't you? No. <laughs> oh, I've seen – so Nicole came over and she was like, okay, you don't want to watch the first episode. You want to watch, like, the good one. So we skipped around and watched random ones. Okay. So then Alex and I decided to start it from the beginning. Yeah. And we watched the first three. And Are they good? We, was the first one that bad? The, yeah. Yeah, don't watch – like, why is <laughs> for your first one, because I feel like if you watch that one and you you will be like, this is what this show's about, no thank you. It's just so messed up. It's okay. so weird. Yeah. Um, and they're all weird and they're all dark. So we watched three of them and he was like, I can't take any more of this. So then we started watching Like, okay, explain. Okay, so one. Yeah, I can't believe you've never I seen know, Workaholics. I it's so, like, I'm love it. so addicted I just want to go sit on a roof and drink a beer. All right? That's all I want to do. I just want to go hang out with Adam Devine. Like, uh, yeah, you know I went, name? yeah, I went and saw his stand-up. He's I exactly know. like that in person. And Did you know he got run over? Yeah. When he was 11? I started yeah. reading all this stuff about the show and about yeah. how, like, you never see his legs because he got run over when he was 11. He was in a coma for two weeks. Weeks. Yeah. Holy crap. Anyway, someone was saying that he is from Waterloo and so he'll come back sometimes. Yeah, he goes, like, he, hang goes out. To the, he goes to the aisle all the time. Are you kidding me? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Can we go meet him, please? Well, when he comes, he should, you should, when he comes to do stand up again, we should go yes. because he is just like that in person. He's he is hilarious. So he'll bring funny. his beautiful girlfriend, have you, or fiance. I don't know if they're, I don't know what they're at, but she's from, she, I know her from the CW. She was on, um, what? Vampire Diaries. Really? Yeah. She, and I love her as an actress. I couldn't believe they're together. She's gorgeous. Um, <laughs> wait, <laughs> not to be mean to him. I was going to say, what are you saying? I'm saying that he's, you know, usually the, you know, he's the funny guy. Yeah. Well, but isn't that the thing? Like, I, I don't know. I'm attracted to funny guys. I am too. <laughs> um, but yeah, lovely. He's representing Iowa, but yeah. I can't believe you hadn't seen that before. I, I know. love workaholics. It may, I just love it so much. Um, so briefly, sorry, go back to Black Mirror. Briefly explain okay. to me. I don't understand. Like, is it something to compare it to that I can like? You know what I mean? 
I don't know. Uh, Could you say it's dark and is it, it depressing it, or is it like some of it? Yeah. Like yeah. why so, did, why did Alex have to stop watching it? After it touches three on so many social issues. Can, you, can like, you give examples? You can spoil it. I don't care. So the last episode we watched before he was like, okay, that's okay. enough. Um, the whole premise is, you get this thing installed in your head, like it's this little thing, and it connects to your brain, uh-huh. and it allows you to, like, use this little remote and replay everything that's happened during the day through your eyes. Uh huh. So any conversation you've had with anyone, you can replay it. Any whatever. Just that and day. So no. Forever. Oh, forever. Okay, continue. So, you know, I feel like I mean, and so they they kind of go through this married couple, and the guy thinks that she's cheating on him and he keeps like he gets really obsessed and really crazy and like p- replaying this conversation he thought she had and just like why was your face like this and like you know and I just feel like if we had something like that if technology got that far that we could just replay all of our memories yeah it would cause so many like sure it might help resolve some fights and it might help with like eyewitness type stuff but could you imagine the fights you would have because you would just be sitting there like rewinding and being like look at what you did to me look yeah at me. you know like it i just feel like it would be insane and it does it goes over how uh, there uh, i don't think i can talk about that scene on here but yeah there's just a lot of yeah well and i think is turmoil. that there's also like the fact that we're like you know, you think of the good old days or whatever. Well, one, they probably wouldn't be as good if you could look back at them. Yeah. And two, I think people would just get stuck at, like, revisiting their past. Yeah. And not live. Right. Because the one scene, he sits up literally all night just re-watching stuff that had happened that night because he thought that she was talking to this guy and it meant something. So, you know, you can make yourself crazy. Yeah. You're watching your life. And the the whole the whole episode starts off with he was in um, some kind of job interview and he's in the taxi afterwards just replaying the whole thing. And I was just like, could you imagine your anxiety if you had to relive or if oh you my gosh. allowed yourself to relive every interview you've ever had? Or like every like, conversation or every time someone yeah. says, um, enjoy your food. And I said, you too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I would just feel like an idiot forever. And I'd just be in this anxiety hole. I'm yeah. just like, rewatching my whole life forever. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't <laughs> let, you'd forget to live. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That does sound pretty heavy. Got it. Can't wait to watch that. <laughs> it's, it is really good though. Cause like I said, they talk about a lot of like social issues. Yeah. And things that are happening. So yeah, it's very interesting. That is so interesting. Um, and then I want to talk about a show that I started watching randomly because I couldn't sleep. It's called Light as a Feather. It's a Hulu original. You started watching that because you couldn't sleep. Is it scary? It yeah, it's scary. a it's a horror oh my show. God. I've never watched one before. I like I don't know why. Like since my anxiety's been better, I want to watch like I mean I went to a horror sh- movie with you. Oh, that's true. Like who am I? Who is this girl? So I went to um, gearing up for our October challenge. Isn't it horror? For the reading challenge. It is. Month. I am gearing up for that. <laughs> um, so I want to, like, find the uh, the description. So um, it's drama and horror. It's a TV show. Um, an innocent game of lies of feathers, stiff as a board, goes wrong when five teen girls who played start dying exactly the way that they're predicted. So basically um, – this girl comes to town and it's these four friends and she befriends them and whatever. And then like she plays Lies of Feather Stiff as a board with them with three of the girls. The fourth is too scared. And then she can see she can make she can see how they're going to die and make it happen. Oh, my God. And so then she's controlling it. And it's just it's very creepy and very, very good. I really like it. The end. Sounds good. Go it reminds it. me of craft. That's what I've it reminded me of. It. We're watching Craft. I watch it every year on Halloween. Are you kidding me? Cake I'm and terrible. terrible. I was just going to say, it reminds <laughs> me of Pretty Little Liars. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I had to clarify Drag. that. <laughs> I had to clarify I mean, it. true. It does actually remind me of that, only it's actually like, gory. Like, it's good. It's a horror. It's yeah. yeah. See, yeah, that's why I feel like you'd like it. Which, what's it on? Hulu. Hulu. Okay. Light as a feather. And it's, yeah, they like actually show the gore. And I was like, this is kind of, like, it's not like, it's tastefully done. Not yeah. like freaking Midsummer. Listen, I still really love that movie. I like. I cannot I still, wait until I, we get to rewatch it with the guys. I do agree with um, my therapist that the first scene is a little uh, is a little much. It is way too much. It's way too much. It's disgusting. But other than that, yeah, I, it was very interesting. But I want to rewatch it 
because we yeah because like we said we went know. on the patreon or patreon geez, oh my god we went on reddit and read other people's point of views mm-hmm. and now i'm like oh wait a second i want to go back <laughs> right i want to see it especially knowing what i know now knowing the end i want to go back and be like okay and pick apart because a lot of like times the director and the writers will have written clues in there mm-hmm. to like you know what i mean so yeah. that's why i love rewatching things i like to analyze them Fancy. yay um i think that's all the shows that i've watched but i thought you would really like that yeah, so I think once I make sure I'm caught up on both Love Islands, I'll start watching that. Yeah, that and I'm going to really watch good. Stranger Things, and I'm going to finish Lies of Feather, and then I'm going to try to start Black Mirror. And I you're going to catch up on Love Island. Then I got some catching up to do. Okay, yes, I do. Ma'am. Um, I wanted to say really quick about <laughs> Life is Short with Justin Long. Yeah. Doesn't his brother sound like the guy from Bob's, uh, the guy who voices Bob's Burger? Oh, gosh. Listen I to it. I never thought of that. Listen to it. He does. He could literally be a stand-in for that's that hilarious. show. It's insane. I was like, where have I heard that voice? And I was like, oh, my gosh. The guy who plays Bob's Oh, that's hilarious. Or the guy who plays Archer. Like, I can't yeah. think of his name. But, yeah. He's in everything now because he's in, like, a commercial. And- I love it. But he has. His brother has that voice. That's crazy. Yeah. It's I wonder so if he's good. a voice actor. I honestly think he should be. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. What are your plans for this weekend? So we've got Raylan birthday party. Ray baby. He's I guess I can't eight. say that anymore. He's right. Turning he's turning eight. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. We're having. You have to sell the theme. Well, so it started as Zelda because they were like super hardcore into Zelda. They were. They were playing it all the time and trying to convince me to buy it for $60. And then like two and a half weeks before his birthday, he decided he didn't want Zelda anymore. Are they not playing it as much anymore? No. And I was like, okay, listen, I've already started the planning. Like, I've already got something ordered, and it's Zelda, so we have to do something. So I talked to Alex, and he came up with video, like, just video Video games. Video games, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I got some, like, generic video game stuff. Um, I got some Mario stuff. We've got Minecraft. Yeah. Uh, I did get Zelda. um, I know we talked about it last Tea Chats, I think, when we talked about um, Easy A. No, Easy Street Treats. And how oh, she made cookies for Cass's bachelor that's party. That's what you ordered. <laughs> yeah, she she's making cookies <gasps> for this. That's awesome. Yeah, so that was the Zelda cookies I'd already ordered, yeah. and I was like, well, whatever. We're doing it, and yeah. I'm gonna make tattoos, temporary tattoos. <laughs> yeah, so I'm excited. It'll be fun. It'll it's be always, a lot of fun. It's always exhausting and fun. <laughs> it's like yeah, exhausting but fun. That is a very good way to put everything like that. What are you guys doing this weekend? Well, it's Kurt's birthday, so we're going to celebrate that. I am so excited. I can't tell you. I, I don't know if he'd listen to it or not. He he's has, probably going to listen to yeah, it. Yeah, okay. If I talk about it, he's going to listen to it. Okay, fine. I'm not going to tell you your birthday present, but I'm very excited. <laughs> and then, I'm excited too. I know what it is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to take a picture though. I know. I need to. Yes. I'll, yeah. So then you guys will know because Kurt's not on Patreon. So. Ha. Hey. Um, <laughs> block him. <laughs> um, and then we're going to go to Stemmenstein, which is a annual like it's a year it's a yearly um they do craft all the craft beers from like around here i like the iowa maybe even the midwest as well as like local wines and local food um vendors vendors yeah Yeah. so you just walk around to each hut and they like you they ask what you get a little wine glass that says stem and sign i think i've done it for a couple years now and then you just walk around and ha- meet Fun. other people and they give you like a list of all the people that are there and like what beers and you'll get to talk to like the people, the owners and people who brew and like they can tell you, I don't know, things yeah. about beer. And I think it's just really fun. So we're going to do that on the weekend, which will, I'm excited. Fun. I'm very excited. It's fun that he likes craft beer as much as I do. So then we can just go and like find all these new beers that we like. Yeah. And so are you going to do beers or wine or both? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's okay, hard not to do sorry, both. In my little world, I have to pick one. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. It. I'm like, um, I'm going to do both. It's going to mm-hmm, be fun. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll just take pictures yeah. and, um, on my Instagram or something. You guys are have a busy Saturday. I know. <laughs> he likes to be busy. So I'm hoping Friday will be not busy and Sunday will not be busy. But knowing him, it will be busy. Right. Exactly. You have Filled to do with something. adult things like grocery shopping and things boo, I don't want to do. Boo. Boo. But yeah, we'll have fun this weekend. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited for Ray's birthday. Yeah, it'll be fun getting everybody here. Together. Yeah. So we can all snack. We can all be grazers. 
<laughs> Kurt's like, I don't understand. What, why aren't you guys eating? Like, we're grazing. This is what we do. We is snack. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then sometimes we have a little bit And then we're full of, on the snacks. And yep. So. And then we eat a little bit of the meal and then we save the rest for leftovers. Mm-hmm. This is what we do. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, all right. Well, we better get going. We've got more tea to drink and books to read. All of our social medias are down below. Make sure to rate and review the podcast. Yes, Give us a five star and we can get up on those charts. Yes. It helps other people to find us. Yes. Because it's still kind of hard a little bit to find us. Yeah. We're new. We're yeah. little newbies. Um, come get personal on Patreon. We talked, we're going to post some pictures on there. Our first after hours, um, episode is up. If you are part of the book legends tier, then you get to listen to those. We can't, we drink and we talk about more personal things, more like after hours, less appropriate for mainstream podcasts. Yeah. Cause I think we talked about doing an episode, a whole episode on Midsummer, maybe. Yeah. I think we will once. I think I want to rewatch it and I think yeah. we should really do one on Midsummer because it is, it, we cannot talk about it on here. No. no it's no, no, no. it's no, no, insane, no, no, no. guys. So yeah, come join us on Patreon. We like to post stuff in there randomly and just kind of chill. We have a Discord. We don't know how to work it, but we got one. We're figuring it out. We're figuring <laughs> it out. I have no idea what we're doing. We're going to have to Google it or ask somebody. <laughs> If you know, help. (laughs) Yeah, no kidding. All right. Well, thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.